Yes, sir. I want to go. Hello guys, welcome to another, welcome to the part 2 of my traditional event. In my previous video, I have spoken about my introduction, experience and my traditional experience, traditional wedding experience. So today I'm going to be talking about my um, excursion and bride price payment. So typically, some people have their bride price payment done on the morning, in the morning of their traditional marriage mine was a day before for reasons best known to us so that's another event on its own so um on the day of my bride price payment it was on a friday my traditional marriage was on saturday uh my like i already stated before the baddest mua you can ever get my auntie she did my makeup i was looking so beautiful i'm going to be inserting clips and pictures and all of that i looked like a goddess you guys i'm not even exaggerating <laughs> There's no, I'm fine. Gay anyway, <laughs> moving on. So, um, she did my makeup. Um, I had family members, you know, I had to greet everybody. There were women in my village that I really did not know a lot of them, but they had been assisting and everything. Do you know my mom though? But I don't know them. I had to be greeting people, you know, getting introduced to people. This is that, this is that, this is that person, and then time, uh, my husband and his man is family came around for the bride price payment and as it is tradition in Isoko there's always cola nuts so they did the whole cola nut thing for the event for the bride price I wasn't there when they paid the bride price it is tradition that I will not be there when they pay the bride price so I cannot categorically say that these were the events of that day everything I'm going to say are hearsay I was told by my siblings my friends that went and all of that and my husband himself so there's usually a list of things for bride price that is given to my husband um to bring when they're coming for the bride price but the list could contain um clothes yeah there are clothes for the bride then there are some things for the mother there are some things for the father there are there's salt bag of salt ask my mother i think i asked my mom what the salt was for I can't remember what she said but yeah it's just one of the traditions there's a bag of salt that will be shared to the village woman i don't know what it signifies but uh yeah there was that so basically Sha, um my husband and his family parents and then the immediate family they had to come inside the parlor where they did the bride price payment then there's a marriage committee in my tribe in my village every village has their own marriage committee right so it's usually the committee of the girl getting married so the marriage committee is present there they, they are the ones that take the list and then they're asking oh this did you bring it and they take it this did you bring it and they take it the one thing that i found crazy was that if there's anything on the list that you do not bring you have to pay for it in cash that they can go and buy it which i know that they will not buy but let's move on so yes basically you have to have provided everything on the list you have to have ticked everything on the list um and after the marriage committee has confirmed that everything on the list has been ticked then they move on to calling out the bride now this is where the beauty of this calling out the bride thing is there is also a tradition of bringing out different other women other than the bride before the bride comes out so two or three um, women are going to be brought out they usually cover a cloth over their head so they'll sing um, there's a particular song that they always sing um, they'll sing it like the other women of the village of the household basically they sing and then they escort the fake bride out first so usually the groom is supposed to open the veil 
to um see if it's his wife is you know i mean he already knows that's not his wife but it's just tradition it just has to be done she get like everybody knows tradition so everybody knows that this first person coming is not the wife second person coming is not the wife so it's obviously the third person plus the veil is only covering the head you know that your wife is going to be more dressed than others so obviously you know who your wife is but it's just done anyway so you have to do this um they use money to even open the veil they'll have to spray for my husband to be able to open the veil so they did it for the first person they did it for the second person um so the person will come and then they will just open the veil and be like no this is not person and then the person will go back and they escort the next person remove the veil and then when it's now the time for the wife to come out they used to cash out <laughs> because <laughs> you guys they were escorting me and then at some point they will stop and be like foil has finished so um, my husband had to pay some money for foil to escort me further it was all kind of new to me but it was funny and exciting to see at the same time so they will do that foil has finished foil has finished and then they'll move 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 till they get to where my husband is and the foil has finished foil has finished my husband has to even pay like spray it's not as if it's a um it's not under any duress nobody's fighting it to get me but like everybody just knows what to do everybody that knows tradition knows that is how it's done so he sprays 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 and then he's allowed to open the veil i mean they see that it's me everybody shouts everybody's you know excited and all of that <laughs> I'm 
Ah, 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 father to pray for us to bless our marriage literally after they have prayed and then for me yeah it was emotional my friend was crying <laughs> Wait me i'm calling you out all of you that were crying that day i'm calling you out lizzie even joy all of you that were crying i'm calling you out because you explained to me whether now you did marry <laughs> my friends were crying when my dad was praying for us i wasn't crying or oh, i tried not to cry i was intentional about not crying because I was on makeup and I didn't want to ruin my makeup. So, um, myself and my husband were kneeling in front of my father and then he was praying for us. And then talking about how he has let me go because I paid my brain price officially. So, it's no longer, I'm no longer under his roof. Now I'm married officially. To get me. Traditionally, I was married once they paid my brain price, even before the event, like I said in my last video, was just to celebrate that we just been married. So, he prayed for us and all of that. Then they'll bring a cup of wine. And then um, asked me to drink a little bit from it. I had to drink a little bit from it. Then I gave to my husband. I don't remember if he gave me back, but he would not drink the rest. I don't know. I'm going to insert clips. I'm sure that I have clips from that particular situ um, event. So um, after that, we uh, we we'll get up. My husband will know. I did not get up. Let me explain something. <laughs> So I'm still kneeling, my husband is still kneeling, and then my the husband is expected to stand up first and lift me up. Lift a whole how many kg up. I think it's easy. <laughs> anyway, but he had to lift me up, so he had to lift me up the ground. I immediately lifted me up the ground, everybody was clapping, shouting, shouting. You know the normal vibes from celebration. So after that, the next thing we had to do was we had to go outside. Like I stated earlier, um, my husband and his family had to come inside to do the whole ticking of list and all of that but there was like tents outside for other people that were not immediate family that came around for the bride price payment so after the events inside myself and my husband had to go around the tents greeting people basically appreciating them for coming it was like and then i had this um hostel so i just had to be doing oh i do i do <laughs> very weird shit you guys I was so shy. I was so shy, you guys. I was so so shy. My husband just held my hand and then I had this very flowing something down my gown. So it wasn't very comfortable walking up and down because I'm trying to hold down one. I'm trying to hold a hostel and be doing what do I do? Me and myself and my husband was doing that, you know, to appreciate people for coming to our event and all that. So we did that round and then went back inside the house and um, everybody ate as usual food drinks everybody happy and then that is that about the traditional marriage uh no no traditional marriage sorry the by price pin now to excursion so excursion is usually done after the traditional marriage you know like i stated some people have their bride price payments in the morning the, then from the after paying bride price they go for the traditional marriage events it's usually just celebration of the marriage and then after the traditional marriage event they do the excursion but mine was different. I had my bride price payment a day before my traditional marriage. So the excursion was after my traditional marriage. So after we were done at the um, reception center and all of that, I was taken back to my parents' house to change into another outfit. 
No, can you see the number of outfits that I was wearing for all these events? Plenty clothes. Usually, these clothes are clothes that you will not even wear after the day. You just see in this life. Anyway, so I had to go back home and then change into another outfit. And, um, you know, just touch up my makeup. Basically, so what this question is about in my tribe is the um, parents of the girl, that's my parents, would buy some things. There's some traditional things that... Um, they are not traditional things, but they are in the tradition that my parents have to buy these things to escort me. There was a tray filled with fish. There was a very long broom. See, you guys, I found these things so weird. But there was a very long broom. You know, it's just like, oh, we are sending our daughter with these things. That was what it was. Then they are um, they're supposed to go with my box. Escort me to my husband's house with my box. Um, there was a bowl that had um, some plates, spoons, you know, cutleries and all of that. There was um, soup that was supposedly cooked by me, taken to my husband's house. Um, what else? I'm trying to remember everything there was. Yam, plantain. Uh, this is uh, mortar. Mortar, pestle. There's this bowl we used to make starch. Starch is a traditional food in delta state everybody from delta state knows delta state nigeria for those that are non-nigerians that might be watching this so there's this starch bowl um basically cooking utensils some food stuff to excuse me to my husband's house with umbrella very funny things to be honest <laughs> so um after i changed my dress my outfit i had to there was a bus that conveyed the people it had to be um my parents were not allowed to escort me i didn't know that until i was getting married my parents are not allowed to go to my in-laws house with me to my husband's house with me <laughs> mostly women and a few men that would escort me but my friends were with me, so my friends joined them. My sister, my brother, she has got to meet my husband's house. So usually, if the village is just near, like if my village and my husband's village are like neighboring villages, we won't have to go in a car. They would just sing and sing and sing and dance and, you know, we'll dance to my husband's house. We won't be in a moving vehicle at all. But because it was not so close, we had to take transport, like we had to, um, we had to be driven there, so. I was in a different car and then um the people that were escorting me were in a different car so we got to the gates because of that tradition of having to dance on feet into my husband's house the vehicle was not allowed into my husband's compound it was parked outside so we had to dance like we have to use our leg and cross the gates you see this tradition thing everything was just like i said most of it i was seeing it for the first time so it was fascinating very fascinating so um we walked after we got down, um, they would, the same thing that happened in the um, bride price payment. They covered my face and all that. And then people, uh, the woman that escorted me, they would carry the things that were brought on their head. So I'm carrying their hand. Basically carry as much as you can carry. All the women that escorted me, the yam, the plantain, the bowl, the plates, everything carried on their head. And they'll be dancing. I'm going to insert video clips. It was fun. I'm not even lying to you. It was exciting. So, um... I was surprised you know what annoyed me my head was covered so i couldn't really see what was in front but thank god that i had my friends made some videos that's the videos i even be uploading so it was those videos i was watching after because up until i got to um, the front of um the front of the house that inside the compound in front of the house i wasn't seeing anything my head was my face was covered my auntie and my sister they even tried to like help me hold it hold the uh, wrapper front so that I won't be sweating because you're inside that thing and then you're dancing. So shall we danced in and then the thing is while we are dancing in, my mother in law and her own uh, woman, woman of her village, they're supposedly uh welcoming me as well. That's the whole event. See, it was a whole event, I tell you. So they were coming from this way, like we we're entering the compound and they're coming from this from the other from inside the compound to welcome us and then we were singing our own song they were chanting their own songs and then the normal thing like i stated 
the tradition of fuel has finished, fuel has finished, they're not, they're not singing again, so they'll have to come and spray, 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 spray for them to move. After they spray, okay, they bought fuel, we will now sing again and dance forward and dance forward and dance forward. My mother-in-law and her um, sisters and her friends, women of the village, came um chance 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 spray 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 to buy foil as usual basically that was what it was about and then we dance 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 and move in and then once we get to the door the woman from the women that are welcoming me into their village would take it take all the things that they escorted me with my box and everything else so but stepping into the house my mother-in-law was um supposed to wash my feet that is tradition i did not that one was another shock i didn't know that was done but it was so cool and exciting at the same time so she washed my feet made prayers prayers um it was, it was very emotional it was sweet and then after washing my feet pat dried with the towel and just lifts me up into the house and basically um welcoming me into the um, family officially all of those tradition thing and all of that and uh yeah, that was just what it was. I think that was basically the event for the excursion. And after that, after um, my, all of them have been welcomed into the family, my people that I escorted, they would just, you know, greet my in-laws and all of that. And then they have to go back home to my parents to tell them the events that happened. Obviously, I'm not my husband's house, so I've not followed them back. So I don't know. Well, I don't know if there was another meeting or, say, or explanation to tell my parents what happened because my parents were not allowed to come with me so it was more like they sent people with me so that was just what it was uh, the day went by the next morning we were resting traveled back home that was just it really that's the end of this video it was all fun it was exciting to see I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it um do not forget to like subscribe and share this video please please share this video please please share this video comment down below and all of that good stuff bye guys